This video is about types of stage spaces. There are four basic types of stages, with other types usually combining or spinning off of these basic types. We will be talking about today proscenium, thrust, arena, and black box. It's important to recognize what type of stage space a production is set in because it alters the way the audience and the actors connect and interact with each other. The first type of stage space we're going to look at is the proscenium. This word proscene, which is now proscenium, comes to us from the Greeks who used a narrow raised stage that was in front of a skene, pro skene, or a backdrop. Here you can see a very elaborate proscenium, and it is theaters like this that you may be most familiar with due to their depiction in movies and television. And this also happens to be the least intimate type of stage space, with the audience often separate from the action on stage. What are proscenium's defining characteristics? The defining characteristic of a proscenium stage is the proscenium arch that separates the stage from the audience. The audience sits in the house in front of the proscenium and most of the action happens upstage or behind the proscenium. The small portion that sticks out in front of the proscenium arch is called the apron. Is this a proscenium? We can see here, highlighted in red, that there is a proscenium arch. Additionally, the audience is in rows facing the stage and separated from the bulk of the action. This is also referred to as the fourth wall, an imaginary wall that the audience can see through but the actors seemingly can't. Breaking the fourth wall is when a character acknowledges the presence of the audience. This might be familiar to you, especially if you had a cafetorium sometime during your education. This is a multi-use space, but is one of its uses as a proscenium theater? Yes! Here we see outlined in red the very simple proscenium arch created by the cinder block walls. This proscenium arch still serves to separate the audience from the action and frame the play like a picture, even though it's very plain and very different from the first proscenium that we looked at. Is this a proscenium space? Nope. Why not? Here you can see that the bulk of the playing space where the actors will perform is sticking out far past or downstage from the proscenium arch. The small amount of space upstage or behind the proscenium is suitable for scenery, but very little action can occur back there. This type of configuration is referred to as a thrust stage. So what are a thrust stage's defining characteristics? The stage thrusts out into the audience. This means that the action occurs closer to the audience and is surrounded on multiple sides by the audience. It is a more intimate type of theater because there is not the separation of the proscenium march. The actors are much closer to the audience and moving among them. Is this a thrust stage? Here we can see the stage thrusting into the audience, the audience about three quarters of the way around, and the area upstage is very small. So yes, this is a thrust stage. Is this a thrust stage? Here you can see the outline of the stage, which is sticking out into the audience like the previous picture. Notice the scenery is mostly located upstage so as not to obstruct the audience's vision. Is this a thrust stage? Yes, it is, and it's the Globe Theatre. The Globe Theatre is in London, England. It was called Shakespeare's Theatre, built in 1599 by his theatre company, the Lord Chamberlain's Men. The Globe Theatre has long since been dismantled, but a replica was built in London in the last century. If we go back to the slide, you can see there is a thrust because the stage sticks or thrusts out into the audience. Also pictured here is the pit, the area where the people are standing on three sides of the stage. The audience members here are called the groundlings, and their tickets were less costly than those who are seated in the balconies around the outer edge of the house. So far we have discussed the proscenium stage and the thrust stage. Next up is the arena stage, shown here. What are an arena's defining characteristics? Comparing the arena to a thrust or a proscenium, how is it different? 
As you can see, the audience surrounds the acting area on all sides. And now the jobs of the actor, director, and set designer become a little more complicated. Where do you put the scenery without blocking the audience's view? And how does an actor move and stand so as not to leave their back exposed too much to one side of the audience? How do actors enter and exit the space? These are all questions that have to be decided upon and resolved by the various designers and director and actors. So is this an arena stage? Here we see seating on all sides of this odd shaped stage, but it is still an arena. Arena theaters are often called in the round, but as you can see, they do not need to be round. Speaking of round spaces, is this an arena stage? Notice where the scenery and props have been placed and how low they are to facilitate the view of the audience. The actors enter through the same walkways used by the audience, so this is a very intimate space and it is indeed an arena. Be careful about timing your bathroom break in a space like this because you could just run into an actor on your way out. Is this an arena performance space? This is the University of Georgia basketball arena. Notice the name arena in the name. This is an arena style space with seating all the way around, in this case the court rather than a stage. The actors, or in this case players, would enter through a vomitorium or hallway that goes under the seats and back to the dressing rooms. Is this an arena stage? For those of you from Texas, you may recognize this space. It is Lakewood Church in Houston. It's also on television. Formerly, this space was the Compact Center, a basketball arena. Again, it's right there in the name, arena. This is, in fact, an arena space because the audience is on all sides. Notice the small box outlined in blue at the back of the house. It's very dark, and that is by design. This way the technicians running the lights, sound, and video aren't immediately visible and blend into the background. Finally, here we come to the black box stage. Note that a black box doesn't have to be black or a box, but it commonly is a large open dark space. So what are a black box stage's defining characteristics? The seating is movable and can become any kind of stage. Notice here we have a set of risers that can be reconfigured and moved around the space. This means that a black box stage can become a proscenium, thrust, or arena dependent upon how the audience is located in relationship to the action on stage. Is this a black box? Open space, movable seating, and it happens to be darkly colored to help the lights not bounce around the entire space. So yes, it is a black box. Notice that this photograph was taken from a catwalk above the stage, which are usually there to help technicians reach lighting and sound equipment and access other technical areas of the theater. Here we have movable seating in a large dark space. This is also a black box. The chairs are on movable risers in a thrust configuration because you have seating on three sides. Now time for a quick quiz. What type of stage is this? If you said thrust, you are correct. The stage thrusts out into the audience, which is seated about three quarters of the way around the stage. What type of stage is this? Here we have a small apron sticking out in front of a proscenium arch, which is separating the house or audience seating area from the rest of the stage. This is Radio City Music Hall in New York City, and it is a proscenium stage. What type of stage is this? Movable seating, a large dark space. This is the Black Box Theater. Black box theaters are very popular in educational settings because the students can be trained in a variety of types of, sta of spaces dependent upon how the seating is set up. What type of stage is this? Here we see seating on all sides, low scenery so as not to obstruct the audience view, 
entrances through aisles that the audience may also use. And if you set arena space, you are one smart cookie. A recap of what we learned today. There are four basic types of theater stages. The first is the proscenium, which comes to us from the ancient Greek theater and was repopularized about 500 years ago. It uses an archway to frame the action on stage and separate the action from the audience. Next was the thrust, which uses a stage that sticks out into the audience. The audience is seated on multiple sides. Then we discussed the arena, which is also called in the round and has seating on all sides. Finally, we learned about the black box, which uses movable seating to become any kind of space you can think of. This has been Types of Stage Spaces. The End.